Hey, what's up guys, this is your friend Captain Yara's the back with another weekly tech updates and this is a part I can say episode 39th of it. So yeah, we got some big big news and some cool announcement in this today's video. So without any further ado, let's quickly get started. Not 9i, this is 9 only. And this phone is receiving the Realme UI 3.0, the official update and it is a stable update for this and if you are using the Realme 9, so make sure you get updated with the new Realme UI. We are be announcing uh, two devices for their ecosystem or you can say expanding their ecosystem. Uh, firstly, the 5G tablet has been added, Realme Pad X 5G. Uh, this guy is rocking with the Snapdragon 695 5G processor. And it is expected that this might be under 20,000. So yeah, that's expectation. And also they're going to be adding a flat screen monitor, which is a really nice. And uh, as for the imaging and that also, it looks really nice. Um, Oppo Reno. Uh, this is the kind of say most uh, highly created smartphone. And basically, these smartphones are having the mild silicon X in it. But these smartphones have gone official. Oppo Reno 8 Pro and Oppo Reno 8 and these two smartphones are rocking with some of the cool Dimensity processors. Oppo Reno 8 Pro is rocking with the Dimensity 8100 and uh, uh, 8 is rocking with the 1300 processor. And these woes are having the Mario Silicon X which is a 6 nanometer base to processor for image sensing and the raw stuff. Followed by the Oppo Pad Air. Uh, it is also going to be launching in India really soon and with the Oppo's Anko Buds, which is the Oppo Anko Buds X2, and kind of say this is a really, really nice looking tablet in terms of design. In terms of specification, it is okay type, and yeah, tablet market is really creating some sort of hype. So we all are using the power adapters to charge our phone. Most of us, uh, some are on the wireless, and some are on the different type of technology. But Oppo is actually testing a 240 watt of power adapter for wireless charging connectivity. Just imagine that thing and uh, 240 watt. Oppo K10 Energy. Um, K10 series is kind of say making itself expanding but this smartphone was been served around on the internet. Uh, this guy is rocking a Snapdragon 778G processor followed by 120Hz display. And this smartphone is expected to launch in India really soon and it might be into a lot of uh, budgetified screen subject under 25,000 as for me. Oppo Watch 3 and this uh, smart watch is going to be launching in August and you might be thinking what's the difference um, in the normal. Um, this guy is going to be rocking the Snapdragon's W5 Gen 1 processor and it is the very first smartphone that it's going to be adopting on itself. I'm going to talk about that in a bit uh, but yeah it's going to be becoming the very first to use that processor. It is basically 4 nanometer based to processor. Samsung. Samsung's uh, Galaxy Fold devices are actually been so into our talk for a long time. And the official date has been officially confirmed from the Samsung. It is August 10, as I told you in the last WGU. And yeah, this is really, really nice. And they are officially teased. You can pre order and do stuff like that. So make sure you do it if you are going to be having that smartphone or that birds into your pocket. Samsung Galaxy A23 5G and this smartphone was been passed on the FCC certification and demo stuff. Uh, this smartphone has been confirmed to have 5000 ml laser polish in battery and 25 watt power adapter and soon this smartphone will be uh, unveiling and I got over there this might be under 20,000 price point. So if you are using the S20 FE and if you are thinking to buy the S20 FE um, you can definitely go and grab it, that's a good smartphone but after a while this smartphone might be completely disappearing from the market because um, Samsung itself have cancelled the production of the S20 FE and more focused or you can say more goes to the S22 Ultra but I can't say just wait for a while, S22 Ultra will be more cheaper and uh, you can actually buy it at yeah, just think smart Samsung Galaxy M04. This is extreme budget smartphone has for me, and this smartphone was been ported with the MediaTek G35 processor, and that's why I told you it's an extreme budget smartphone. So a couple of days ago, three nanometer based to talk for the Samsung was been into our news, and I was like, huh, 
too early. But actually, they are going to be unveiling the 3 nanometer Bayesian stencil growth paper by this July only. Yeah, that's a true. It is July 25th, and I am super super excited for the, the procedure. And uh, just imagine with smartphone is gonna be on to the board. Yeah, Samsung have officially started shipping the 16 GB RAM with the GDDR6, and uh, yeah. I'm super excited when this is going to be actually implementing on the smartphone or you can say on the board. So how the performance will be of that uh, device, actually the RAM management specially. Samsung A24, A34 and A54, um, what? <laughs> Basically this smartphone going to be not having macro or depth sensors. Um, that's uh, something like a dream that uh, just imagine dual camera setup only on the smartphones yeah that's kind of hard to believe but uh, it might be adopting the telephoto sensor in the budget and uh, yeah this is something different than usual Techno Spark 9 and this is a, again an extreme budget device with a 90 hz display made at actually g37 and it is an entry level based smartphone so yeah if you are thinking to buy this um, and your budget is tight then you can buy it it is time of part 9 and uh, it looks cool. Infinix 12 Pro goes official and you might be thinking uh, what is this smartphone different and this smartphone is rocking with the Mediatek the latest and the greatest Intel G3 Mediatek Helio G99 processor and this is a kind of a really hyped up for myself but this uh, smartphone isn't you know kept on that way. It is having a triple camera setup basically 108 plus 2 plus QVGA definitely it won't be having and in design wise it is okay type of design not that much outputted. Um I can go and grab the Infinix about the VIP edition 12 VIP basically but this smartphone isn't that much catchy. Infinix uh, basically they have done an innovation for creating something different and this is a 3D cloud vapor chamber which creates a confidential um, design by around improves the, the performance with the three degrees which is really really nice and uh, if this attack has been implemented on the smartphone it can be really really nice on the basically the infinix based smartphone just focus on the OS and UI it definitely we are going something outbreaking stuff internet okay nothing 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 uh, the smartphone got officially unveiled by the time and uh, there are some users who are having a green tint issue on their screen and uh, basically it is becoming common and around the selfie camera the pixels are been so blacked out or happening to something different so yeah it might be a big issue because and we gonna give it because it's a starting company and they might be you know implementing something on their service centers and their all stuff and yeah Nothing leads to it, this and yeah, be something. No, don't be something, uh, only be nothing. What I'm doing, I don't know. If you want to live in the future of the smartphones, then iPhone, I can say that Apple's iPhone, is basically working on a you know, not physical themed smartphone. And this is something like a different thing, but nice. Basically, this smartphone, the 14 series has been expected that this smartphone won't be having any type of physical SIM. Which is kind of an outbreaking thing for a lot of users. So, if you are thinking to go with the M2, the straight power while M2 Pro and the M2 Max is also going to be coming. But if you are, you know, just going tomorrow and buying it, um, go and buy it. I can't, you know, swear you on that basis. But basically, M2 Max and the M2 Pro are going to be unveiling by this year only as per some rumors and yeah this is really you know apple is creating some of that uh, high void into the laptop segment nowadays too there are some rumors that 10t won't be coming but uh, there are some rumors that the official date of the smartphone has been guessed it is between also july and the august first um but why the smartphone just focus on the 11 series now that makes sense for me, for me it makes sense 10R is there, 10 is there, 10 uh, T is going to be coming and uh, 10 Pro is already there doesn't make any type of big sense for users around us 
Okay, so now let's talk about that thing which I told you the latter part of the video. The Oppo Watch 3 and the, yeah, the processor, the W5 Gen 1 and the W5 Plus Gen 1 from the Snapdragon was been announced and this are the 4 nanometer based smartphones, um, not the smartphone processors for your smartwatches. Um, so yeah, it is nice that they are doing something different for the smartwatches too and soon the OPPO will be coming and there is one more news regarding the watch itself we're gonna talk in a bit but yeah really nice appreciate it so it has been officially confirmed for the November 15 to 17th it is in Huawei not Huawei Hawaii so yeah if you are in the Hawaii then make sure you visit it and yeah really fun and uh, my expectations are as usual high and for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 seriously Mobi Boy, um, you might be saying, what is this? It is a brand, um, Mobi Boy, who makes uh, smartwatches, and it's the next uh, tech watch basically uh, from themselves. And uh, the smartphone, uh, this smart watch, you know, there are a lot of smartphone announcements and a lot of stuff going around us. And how do you think to utter smartphone except of smartwatch? Anyways, let's get on back. Uh, this uh, smartwatch will be officially re coming with the W5 Plus Gen 1 processor and this also gonna be making itself the first to come with the W5 Plus Gen 1 processor. This makes some sense, you know. Be first. That is the thing going on into the market. Now the reports and this is from the Ken Lays. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it but uh, smartphone sales has been foiled by fell by 9% in Q2 2022 and this is due to the inflation and the whole stuff the price rise has been seen around us and everything is going on um, but yeah we soon gonna be recovering and a smartphone you know will be catching the high end markets too yeah just wait for a while the report from the candies also showed that the smartphone shipment market and the whole stuff in India has been also fallen and everyone you know have been disrupted but it is falling from our starting of this year and uh, third quarter has been seen falling too it's on our way recovering and yeah smartphone you know shipping and the rest of buying market will be again higher just wait for a while Huawei's uh, MatePad Pro is going to be launching with the Harmony OS 3.0 also on the side by side and the date of the launching is July of 27th. July? July of 27th. Not July. July. Yeah. Okay, so the Vivo's T1X has been officially launched in India with the price point of 1999 And uh, why is the smartphone in the T1? I don't know. Yeah. Because um, T1 is a good name series and they have created some reputation as for me. But the T1X doesn't make any sense. Google's uh, Pixel 6a has officially, you know, unveiled and uh, pre-orders in India for the Flipkart has been started. It is priced, uh, you know, typical 44,000, which is uh, 43,999. And you can pre-order the smartphone from the Flipkart. And yeah, this smartphone looks really nice. And if you are into Android, then you can definitely grab it. And this is the very first smartphone to come with the Google Tensor in India. And um, I could thank series God on it. You know, I was the one who was thinking to buy the smartphone and uh, now I don't, I won't be buying the smartphone. Um, 9 series was really really nice and I was, you know, that much excited for the smartphone. But the smartphone had created some sort of experiment and what they have delivered is kind of off. We are receiving the vendors from the starting of this week and uh, the phone got office and he unveiled it. And the smartphones are basically powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. 200 watt of power adapter has been implemented and uh, it makes sense in that only. Anything else, it's okay and uh, V1 Plus chipset has been implemented and uh, on that basis it is good. Now let's talk about uh, another news from the iQOO. iQOO 90 is also going to be coming uh, by the August of um, kind of say second. And uh, guess the processor. Uh, this will be also implementing with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Now just think of it. Does this make any type of sense for me? 
it makes some sense for the 10th week but uh, 90 doesn't make a huge sense for me it is launching in india with the day the iphone 90 if you are thinking you can grab this and uh, use it for a longer time and if you are going to with the 10 series then you can grab that and use it for a longer time don't upgrade to the 11 series or do anything like that yeah you can upgrade if you like it too xiaomi a brand new k50 and k50 ai has been launched we're gonna talk in a bit about that too a k50 has been into the rumors with the snapdragon 8 plus channel processor and a new brand new design for the smartphone and make some sense into the gaming and a super excited for the smartphone xiaomi's k50 i 5g has been got unveiled officially it got a 144 hertz lcd display Tamiya 8100 processor and this smartphone makes a lot of sense into the gaming stuff so yeah if you are a gamer a straight up gamer then you can definitely grab this and the, the early bird price is really nice 20,000 triple line and it is capped perfectly and if you are a gamer as i told you just grab it it makes some sense for yourself too xiaomi is also you know working underground and researching on the different different size and aspect ratio for the tablets you know they are going to be launching some of the tablets too in the future and uh, the xiaomi pad was really nice but and uh, just wait for a while they will be unveiling some of the cool stuff and the operating system will also be improving so motorola x34 and the motorola razr 2022 is going to be launching by the 2nd August and the parameters for the Motorola X30 Pro the camera was been also sorted around and I'm super excited when this smartphone will be coming to India because it to be having a 200 megapixel camera sensor and the new Motorola foldable smartphone so the Zenfone 9 and this smartphone is of 5.9 inches um kind of say makes a lot of sense for me because I don't like huge huge tall display screens with a broader size Anyways, uh, this smartphone is going to be launching too. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is also implemented on this device. It looks of futuristic and really fun colors are there on this device too. And this smartphone is going to be unveiling by this July only, by the July of 28 in the selected regions of Berlin, Taipei and New York. Yeah, so when it comes to India, I don't know anything about that. But if it comes to India, this phone will be into a lot of pockets. Proper timing is necessary basically. Yeah, we got some big big news. Uh, personally, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is expected, and uh, we got some down points too. The inflation and the other stuff is going on into the market, so market has been fallen. Anyways, uh, there are some cool smartphones also going to be coming. Redmi A50. Yeah, if you are into you know expectations, then it is also coming. Followed by the Oppo Reno 8 series, and they got unveiled. They make a lot of sense for some of the users. It looks nice and stylish too. Followed by Apple's uh, M2 series is also going to be coming. M2 Pro and the Max. And yeah, as soon as the Phone 9. If you know anything about the launch date in specific India, then let me know in the comment section down below. Let also others know your expectation or the expected date. Again, this was uh, Captain Yaros. You are watching Kiaras and Yaros. And if you enjoy this video, I you want to appreciate our work like and subscribe that uh, red button which i become doing share it among your friends who want to get updated with the tech updates and uh, make sure that they get updated you know everyone should be get updated and if you want uh, more content like this uh, make sure you press the bell icon your bell icon and get connected with the channel this was captain here we're watching kiaras and i'll catch you in the next video stay safe stay connected peace out